Hey guys, what is up? Today we are finishing up JJ's loft bed. And so if you want to see it's how we did it, bed. it's a loft bed. <laughs> it's a bunk bed. It's a loft bed. It's a bunk bed. If you want to see how we did it, stick around. All right, guys, so we started with four two by sixes by eight feet. We cut them down to 39 inches and we ended up getting six pieces out of the four two by sixes. All right, guys, we got all our pieces cut. We are going to use the Craig jig. Um, I think this is the Pro. And we're going to put some pocket holes on the 39 inch pieces of the 2x6. And we're going to do this on all of them so that we can attach the frame together using pocket screws and some wood glue. And we're going to use 2.5 inch pocket screws. And I don't recommend using the impact, but I couldn't find a driver drill, so we're going to have to use it. All right, next we took our eight foot pieces and then all our cuts and we laid them out. And we're just measuring the distance evenly between each of these pieces and marking it off. Then we took some wood glue and we started to form the frame. We're only doing the outside of it right now. We're gonna come back and put the inside pieces here in a bit. We just used two and a half inch pocket screws and just wood glue to hold it all together for now. All right, next we're gonna go inside and we're gonna measure and mark our studs. And we're gonna measure the distance from the corner. And the reason we're doing this is so we can go back outside and make sure that none of our studs are gonna be behind one of the inside pieces of the wood frame so that we can access it. Hey! You don't get the joke, guys? Dad joke. You're a stud? Yeah. They're dad jokes, bro. Nobody laughs at those. I laugh. Yeah, you're dad. <laughs> you're the only one. Alright, after making sure that none of our studs were gonna fall behind one of these inside pieces, we went ahead and added the wood glue and screws to these pieces and finished the frame up. And then we took a piece of the leftover 2x6 scraps and we cut a couple of little corner braces just at a 45 degree angle. And we're going to put these on the corners of the frame just to stabilize it a little bit. We added some wood glue and then we just nailed them into the corner of the bed frame. You had one job. Back inside, we took our level and we marked a line where the top of our frame will be. Uh, me and Sam held it up and then we had JJ put in a couple of nails into one of the studs, into a couple of areas to hold it up. All right guys, we're using four inch uh, timber lock lag screws. If we can get a good view on them. All right guys, four inch timber lock lag screws is what we're gonna use, two at each stud. All right, guys, we're going to drill some pilot holes just to make sure it looks good. So we went through and did all the holes, all the pilot holes with the countersink. And then we went through and started putting all the lag bolts. These are four and a half inch, I believe. All right, guys, we got all the screws into the studs on the wall. This one right here, we're gonna put a support on this corner for now. We're gonna get the MDF sheet on top of here, and then we'll screw an anchor and some metal wire to the ceiling to hold that up. And this video, guys, is brought to you by built bar so use code bb20 for 10 percent off guys if you're looking for some healthy protein bars we put the oh, yeah. we ended up using quarter inch um, paneling and we put it on top nailed it and then we started looking for the studs on the ceiling we're going to put these eyelets up and we're just going to run some metal wire to these outlets from the platform just for some extra support the blue hawk Wire kit, wire rope kit. All right, guys, go. Get enough that we're gonna need a little bit extra. All 
All right, we're putting three eyelets on the outside corners of the little loft uh, platform. And the reason we made this platform bigger than the average twin size bed is so that we could have that space on the edges to build a railing um, to keep the kid in so he doesn't fall out. All right, so this is the most important one here. This is the main outside corner that had no support. And so we made sure that we're drilling that into a stud up at the top. If you guys want to see a video on the wire rope that I used, let me know in the comments down below. It was like 10 bucks, but it, it was pretty cool. It came with everything you needed and the instructions how to put it together. And after getting this tightened up, we moved on to the testing. Andrew, you can we gotta it. start working our way up, like okay, you said. Trust okay, okay. your own work. I'm not open to getting JJ's gonna be the one up there. I know, bro. You might as well get up there. Not on that corner, though. It's in the middle. Right? I'm gonna lay down as if I'm gonna... Damn, I don't know, bro. You think it'll handle me? I hope. You better scoot over. He said, I hope. <laughs> Easy, easy money. Nothing moving, nothing shaking. No, but you're still just gonna have to put some type of support right here so he don't fall. Ooh. JJ. No, you better, put, stay, uh, you better stay still. <laughs> oh, no, we're gonna put rails, but. Next, we loaded up the mattress and then JJ wanted to test yeah. it out. Just lead towards me, bro. He's gonna land on you, break your neck. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Go. Just, just be a little weedy. <laughs> <laughs> no, gonna... Alright, so here we're drilling the hole for the next eyelet, and this one's actually not on the corner. Um, we, we scooted it over about two and a half feet so that JJ could have an entrance. Then we started to put the eyelets on the wall. We found a stud here on the wall. And then another one over here on this ceiling so that we would have somewhere to run our rope. So we, we were going for a playground rope bridge look on this platform. And so we're gonna run rope all through these eyelets. All right guys, we put eyelets to put the rope. So we're gonna run the rope through here, bottom, top, and then we're just gonna run rope as a railing up and down. We used 100 feet of nylon rope that we picked up at Lowe's. And I believe this was half inch rope. And we just ran it through the bottom eyelets first to make a, a rail, I guess. This was kind of on the fly. We didn't, you know, really know how to plan for this. I hadn't done it before, but then we did. Ran one up across the top and then we just ran a piece of rope in between to make it look like the railing and next we picked up some wide strip lights some LED lights and we have been kind of sitting on these for a while but we finally get to install them here and I couldn't wait till the next morning after we painted so I went ahead and started installing them that night so we could see what it was gonna look like at night but the very next day I had the boys paint the frame they painted it all black and then they reattached the lights using a little bit of a hot glue gun um, and when I came home from work it was already done and this is our final result we hadn't had enough lights to run a little bit up to the top and this is JJ enjoying his loft bed um, we did end up building this little ladder right here um, it doesn't really work as well as we wanted to that's why I didn't include it in the video uh, I can show you guys if you guys want to see let me know in the comments down below but uh, JJ just kind of jumps up on a little stool he has right there we'll, we'll probably work on a ladder later on but it looks great we had enough space um, for the bed the mattress and also little cubbies up there for JJ to store some of his stuff and then underneath we just have a little couch facing the TV little hangout area um, and that little couch turns into a bed for when his brother's here or when he has friends over
total for the bed and the rope and the platform and everything we spent around 165 dollars and then on top of that the wise lights were 20 dollars on sale a couple of months ago and the black paint i had some laying around the back so that's not included but i had about half a gallon in the back garage that was all me that was all me you guys psych the boomerang from instagram Hey Mario guys! Blood. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> take take twenty five million. Get out of my <laughs> shot! 